Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad to have you guys here with me today. Today is actually a pretty crazy video for many different reasons. Number one uh, being that uh, I just fed the baby and now he's having a ball right beside me because uh, it's just me tonight. <laughs> so uh, you may hear a lot of noise kind of over here, but you know what? He's fine. He's having a ball. Unless he's crying, this video is not going to stop. Anyway, ain't they right? That's right. Uh, so the past couple of videos, I've been talking about uh, a big, uh, a big surprise coming to the channel, or at least I think it is. I'm really excited about this. But before we get into the video, before I show you the goods, let me just go ahead and get this out of the way. Uh, if you're new here to the channel, consider subscribing. I make content on this channel for everyone. There's something on this channel for everyone. And you know what? If I haven't made it yet, I'm sure it's coming down the pipeline, so stay tuned. Even more reason to subscribe. But guess what? Subscribing is also completely free, so if it turns out that you hate my guts, you don't like my videos, guess what? Unsubscribe. Ah, my feelings won't be hurt. Moving on into the video. So I've been getting a lot of these ads here recently uh, from this company in particular, Fulton and Rourke. Fulton and Rourke, American Fine Fragrance. So let's let's open up this uh, package. Oh, frick! Let me drop it on the ground first. Let's open this package and let's take this. Let's take a peek at uh, what it is that I have received. I'm actually super excited about this. So, uh, first thing is first. Let's 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 just do this, okay? Uh, I got a little thank you note, and it comes in this uh, little black envelope here. Uh, and I don't know if you can make that out, but that's an F and R right here on the front. Uh, I wonder what that stands for. Anyway, wow. So here it is. So it's in. It comes in this little fancy envelope. You open it up like this. Boom! Thank you. Awesome. Pretty cool. Thank you, little, little, little thank you note. Hey, you're welcome. No big deal. Uh, we invite you to discover American Fine Fragrance. We deeply admire the work of the Paris uh, Masons. The, yeah, the Paris Masons. And we are glad they exist. But... To imitate their work does a disservice to us both. We use the finest ingredients available throughout the world, but we draw our inspiration from American culture cues and our favorite places in the United States. And then it says questions or concerns, uh, you know, little email address here, and then uh, compliments at Fulton and Rourke. That's... I mean, that's pretty cool. Not going to lie. Uh, hopefully, they didn't charge me for that because, you know, I've had, I've had better thank you cards. It's cool. I like, I like the, little, uh, the little presentation and all. That, that's cool. I'm, I'm completely fine with that. However, you know, nothing new. Uh, moving on. Let's take a look at some of the products. So, here it is. American Fine Fragrance. So this right here, let's go ahead and open it up and take a peek. Ain't that right, buddy? Let's take one of them peeks. So I'm very, very indecisive. So what I did was I got the uh, this Find Your Fragrance kit here, okay? This sucker was $20. But, you know, that's cool. That's fine, I guess. Uh, how do you get it out? Let's see. Anyway, at Fulton and Rourke, we rethought fragrance for interesting people, travelers, athletes, and those always on the go. It is designed to perform the way fragrance should have all along. It smells great, travels well, and is your signature style to those closest to you. But not the entire room. 
Great fragrance has a lot in common with your favorite shirt. Of, of course, it should be the highest quality materials, but most importantly, it must fit you perfectly. Take some time to try on each scent. The fragrance will open up as it warms up on your skin, making it completely unique to you. Find your perfect fit. And then it gives you directions. Uh, rub your finger over the surface of the cologne. Apply it to your neck or wrist. Smell awesome. And there's that if you want to reread whatever I just butchered. Because usually I do better at reading these things. But apparently I suck. So, awesome! Anyway. Okay, so back to what I was talking about. Uh, anyway, so... Uh, we got all these fancy, fancy pants fragrances. I'm not even going to attempt to uh, read off everything on there, but I will uh, try to pronounce all of the um, all the names of the fragrances. So you ready? So uh, the first one that I see is Hot Taraz, uh, blue, and the next is Blue Ridge, Kiawa, Ramble, Mahana, Sterling. Palmetto and Perpetua. And, uh, you know, once again, there is all the fragrances that I just read from Fulton and Rourke. So now, uh, down here, it says uh, pull case out. So I guess that's how you, I was asking earlier, I guess that's how you pull it, or that's how you retrieve. Okay. I see. I see. That makes sense. So, fortunately, so it comes in these little tablet packs right here, uh, which is cool. That's that's actually pretty simple, uh, very straightforward. It you know I well, you couldn't ask for much more. But then you're probably wondering uh, exactly how how am I supposed to tell the difference? Well, yeah, you know what they thought of that. And uh, very clearly, they have labeled each individual blister pack. So that's 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 actually really cool. That is really cool. Now, the issue is that I have to open all of them and smell them. So uh, that's cool, I guess. Dag on it. Here we go. The first one is Ramble that I'm going to be taking a look at. I'm going to smell the Ramble here. Okay, so the ramble is supposed to be uh, a mixture of balsam, fir, elimi, and oak moss. You're gonna have to forgive me on these pronunciations because I'm not, I'm not, you know, super fancy. I'm not, uh, I'm not rich. But the first thing that I I gotta make sure that it's not on my fingers, but it actually, it reminds me of, uh, it, the, this ramble actually reminds me of, uh, ooh, what's it called? It's like, um, uh, the, uh, citrus, the citrus, it, it's basically this, uh, cremo smell, but, uh, not the blue cedar and cypress, but the, uh, uh, but the citrus one, so that's actually pretty crazy. It smells pretty identical, I'm not going to lie. Kiawa time. Let's go through that one and uh, take a peek. Coastal fresh cedar. I don't really smell very much cedar. However, I kind of, I totally get the coastal vibe in which they speak of. It has that, like, you know, wide open, uh, ocean breeze kind of vibe going on for it. It smells really good. That's probably my favorite so far, even though I've uh, just looked at two. Uh, up next is Blue Ridge. It's making it difficult to, like, try and keep them all separated uh but you know this is what you have to do for the tube man 
So now we're looking at Blue Ridge, or I'm gonna smell Blue Ridge. Okay, so Blue Ridge, Blue Ridge, in my opinion, is very, very, uh, I, it's that mixture, I guess, of amber, sage, and sandalwood. Uh, but it's always the sandalwood scents for me. They smell amazing. They're very masculine. It's 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 just right up my alley. It smells great. I love it. Uh, plus, my wife tends to think that all my sandalwood stuffs smell so much better than others. So, you know, but that's a personal preference. But it does, it does, that amber is really coming through. Uh, and that sandalwood scent, ooh, is very pleasing to the nostrils. The hot ross. That's up next. That's what we're going to smell now. Anyway... Come on, brother. Okay, that classic green spice as as what it says. Uh, not a big fan of it. Uh, not a big fan of it. It smells very uh, like an old school, like something that maybe your grandfather would have used. Uh, but, uh, you know, on them real special occasions, uh, that's what it reminds me of. It's not bad, but I'll, I definitely wouldn't pick it. This is, uh, the Hot Ross. It, I mean, it smells decent. It smells better than, you know, obviously like a fart or something like that. But, uh, it's very strong and, uh, like a... Like I said, it just it just plainly reminds me of like an older fella's cologne, which there's nothing wrong with that. It just it doesn't suit me. It doesn't suit my style, in which I have none. Up next is uh, the Perpetua. Let's peel this baby back and go to town on the nostrils. I'm so blown away by by this though. Ooh, very, 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 very good. I like this one a lot. The Atlas Cedar. How many cedars does there need to be? Atlas Cedar, uh, Neroli, and Amber. That cedar, that 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 uh, Atlas Cedar smells really good. I don't know what the hell Neroli is, but uh, I'm, it smells good in here. Amber, though. It is very placeable in this one, and not the others, but it smells great. I actually like that one. I like that one a lot. Probably uh, right behind Blue Ridge. But, uh, yeah. Now, we're looking at Palmetto. Let's take a look at Palmetto. Let me smell it. I'm sorry if this is boring. It's just, it's kind of hard to review or talk about since to several different, um, you know, solid colognes all at once. So I'm giving you, I'm giving you what it smells like to the best of my ability and, uh, trying to give all of the info that I can. Okay. So the Palmetto is a mixture of the other oh, oh, I'm done. Uh, the palmetto is Brazilian pepper, cedar wood, and magnolia. It's very peppery uh, in a, uh, in a pleasant way. With that, oh, the cedar wood's really coming through on the palmetto, and uh, that that's a that's a ooh that's a win in my book. It smells very good. Magnolia, you know magnolia, the scent of magnolia. Smells very good though. I like it. Up next, we are looking at Sterling. Tobacco, leather, and vanilla. The leather is not necessarily ple er, present 
in this smell, but I do kind of get the the to, the tobacco uh, scent that they're trying to recreate. Uh, the vanilla mixed with the tobacco smells pretty good. It's actually very um, very well done in this case uh, because I've seen other companies try to do the same thing and it just never they don't mash very well. But uh, I would wear that a lot actually. It smells great. Ooh, up next is Mahana. Let's check that one out. So after I, after I talk about this one and kind of describe what it smells like, I'm gonna try and go back through and pick out which one's my all time favorite. But now we're looking at Mahana. So the Mahana is a uh, pomelo, green leaves and coriander coriander it smells decent it's not the best but i think the best way i can describe this one is um uh, it's kind of got why does it smell i guess because of the green leaves it's starting to smell a little floral in my opinion it's more of a uh, nature smell, if that makes any sense. Like, I would feel like an outdoorsman would be wearing this, you know. It doesn't smell that bad, but it's really not up there. I, I guess I have a very particular scent, but that's what the uh, Mahana reminds me of. Kind of an outdoorsy feel. Uh, it it's, has a little bit of a flory, grassy uh, smell. The... Uh, But it also kind of has like a sporty vibe too, like a, like a, in that Old Spice category. So that's pretty cool. I mean, that's uh, pretty difficult to do. But man, okay. Let's re-smell Ramble. Smells good. Not really my, my type though. Uh, Kiawa. Very, very sporty. Um... I, I, it's uh, very, uh, very kind of, oh, how do I describe it? Like an aqua feel. It's kind of a, it reminds me of like the waters. So that's something. Blue Ridge. Kind of smells similar to the Kiawa with a little bit of that amber coming through more more so than uh, the uh, Kiawa. It's very, the Blue Ridge is very, very potent though. It smells really good though. It smells old school and uh, that's probably the best old school kind of smell that I smelled in this bunch anyway. Ramble or Haratas is an absolute no for me. Let me flip it around to Perpetua. Sorry, I got an upset baby. Anyway, uh, looking at the Perpetua. Um, also smells really good. Palmetto smells decent. Sterling is probably my favorite out of this one. And that's Mahana. The Mahana smells really good, but the, the Sterling takes the cake. Uh, the Sterling absolutely takes the cake. Uh, let's see what else that I purchased in this bag here. So, uh, <laughs> oddly enough, you know, with this being a, a soap channel, uh, among other, other varieties, they also make soaps but i got these little uh trial versions of it uh so this is clear water Ooh, and it definitely smells that smells like a definitely like a like a like a fresh creek on a summer day it smells amazing uh the palmetto we've already discussed what that smells like it smells just like the uh actual fragrance so that's pretty cool. Kiawa. Smells identical to the cologne. Ooh. 
uh, Harata Hat Hatteras. I think this one smells better than the actual cologne itself. So that is wild. Uh, Mahana smells pretty good in this bar form, better than the uh, actual, uh, better than the actual cologne. What is it, Boo Boo? Oh. Anyway, and then Blue Ridge smells amazing. Anyway, if you want to take anything away from this video, uh, you can actually pick up this pack for twenty dollars. Oh yeah. You can pick it up for twenty dollars, and uh, and you can pick out a scent that you love. That's the best thing about it, and I, you can't ask for much more than that. But anyway, I think the whole thing cost me about twenty nine dollars uh, with the uh, you know little travel mini soaps that I got here, and uh, I, I I would purchase from them again. So. I'm sorry this video was uh, a little rushed. I'm a little disappointed, but uh, that's okay. I don't ever have any free time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and uh, you know consider subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video.